My name is Mary Strauss. Welcome to my channel. Here are some of the best ways to find a job in Israel. With some of these methods, you can even start to look for a job from overseas before you even move to Israel. One of the best ways for someone moving to Israel to find a job is by using the resources of a free nonprofit organization called Nefesh Benefesh. They help people who want to make Aliyah. Aliyah is basically when a Jew decides to immigrate to Israel. Nefesh Benefesh helps many Jews with their Aliyah process and they offer numerous resources absolutely for free. Some of their resources are only helpful to people making Aliyah, but luckily their online career search site can theoretically be used by any English speaker that is moving to Israel and is looking for a job. Also, this is probably the number one resource to use if you're hoping to find a job in Israel before you even move here, which is typically a very, very difficult thing to do. Nefesh Benefesh's website and resources are all in English. The job board site is also in English and you can sift through it by keywords or the type of role you're looking for and you can also sift by regions across Israel. The website is www.nbn.org.il slash job board and then another slash. Also, Nefesh Benefesh has an email listserv where they occasionally send out emails to people who meet certain career profiles. Occasionally, I receive emails about roles in Israel for attorneys, for example. If you are someone making Aliyah, you should send an email to their employment department and ask them to add you to any email listserv they have about relevant positions that open up in your line of work. The email for their employment department is just employment at nbn.org.il. However, unlike the job board, I do think to be added to the email listserv, you need to be actually making Aliyah. But Nefesh Benefesh also has a great website with many other helpful resources for people making Aliyah, so I recommend that you check out their website more generally for other Aliyah-related tips and tricks. Now, a second way to look for a job in Israel is with the help of recruiters or headhunters. I haven't worked with any that I can specifically recommend, but a quick Google search for recruiting firms in Israel can help you find a whole bunch of options. You can also try to search for ones that specialize in a certain industry, for example, recruiting positions in the high tech sector. Someone who specializes in your line of work may already have very established relationships with some of the top companies that hire. Additionally, a headhunter or recruiter can help review your CV or your resume and give you valuable feedback on how to adapt it for the Israeli job market. You might even find some recruiters that are willing to work with you before you officially move to Israel, but if you haven't even started your immigration process and you don't have a firm date lined up in the near term when you will be officially living in Israel with full citizenship or work visa rights, then they will probably be less likely to work with you until those details are more firm. The reason for this is that employers are usually looking to fill a role by a specific date that is typically going to be pretty immediate. So a recruiter is not going to send someone to their client for an interview if they don't feel confident that the candidate can actually start working in the expected time frame. Next on the list is LinkedIn, of course. Now, LinkedIn is always an option when looking for job opportunities, and plenty of Israeli companies are always posting job ads on LinkedIn. But as is the case for all job posts on LinkedIn across the entire world, volume of applicants is typically very highly saturated on LinkedIn. You might notice that when you go to apply for a role, it tells you that 500 other applicants have already submitted for the role. The fact is the company cannot feasibly sift through and read 500 applications for each role that they need to staff. So while you should definitely use LinkedIn as a resource, don't just apply to jobs using LinkedIn. You should also utilize other methods of trying to find a job. But a great thing you can use LinkedIn for is to make connections. Go to the page for the company you wish to work for, locate some employees who work in a role for that company who might be able to offer you some feedback. Reach out to them through a private message and maybe set up a meeting or ask them if you can take them for coffee to learn more about their experience. Oftentimes when roles do come up, a company will be more likely to hire from the candidates who are referred by existing employees than they will from just random people who apply online. So if you put in some time to build networks at the companies you wish to work for, you might develop a contact who is willing to refer you for a role in the future. In that same vein, the next item on our list is network. It is not uncommon for Israelis to hire from within their network because then they know more about the candidate and their work ethic. Word of mouth and interpersonal skills go a long way in developing your career in Israel. You can start simple by networking with family and friends who live in Israel. You can also try to make contact with interesting people on LinkedIn as we discussed. There's nothing wrong with networking and it shows that you are willing to get creative and it sets you apart from other candidates and showing just how eager you are to work for a certain company. Another way to network is to connect with people through various Facebook groups. Now I know for most people, Facebook is a little outdated, but Israelis have a 
Facebook group for just about anything. Are you a new mom to a new city? There's a Facebook group for that. Are you a new immigrant looking for a role in a certain industry? There's likely a Facebook group for that. So start searching Facebook groups and see if you can find something to join that will help you build your network. And when you eventually come to Israel, you should also go to events and meet people in person because that's the best way to build relationships in Israel. Because who knows, maybe your friends, cousins, husbands, mother know someone who needs your skills in their company. Or maybe that friend's acquaintance from synagogue knows the CEO of your dream company. Whatever the case, we are all more or less family here in Israel, and most people are willing to lend a helping hand even to someone they don't really know all that well. It's a big part of the culture. and Most people want to help you settle in and feel comfortable in your new home and new life as a new immigrant. Another method to help you find your dream job in Israel is researching all of the various companies in Israel that you are most interested in working for and then periodically checking the job post listings on their websites directly. Keep a list of companies you are interested in working for regularly check their career pages for job openings on their website. Now, if you've tried all of the above while living outside of Israel and you still can't find a job, then the next thing you need to do is plan a trip and actually come to Israel. But make sure that you've set up numerous meetings to network or interview with people in your line of work during your trip here. Unfortunately, most people won't consider an applicant that is living overseas unless you plan a visit to Israel and make an appointment to meet them in the near term. If you reach out and tell them, I have a trip scheduled for a month from now, can we grab a coffee on this day at this time? You might have a much better chance of actually getting a meeting and getting your foot in the door. Line up as many meetings as you possibly can in that time frame. You'll be surprised by how many people actually respond and are willing to meet with you. It shows initiative and that you're a serious candidate if you are willing to fly all the way out to Israel for a coffee and for the sake of actually finding a job. They will consider you a much more serious candidate. If you simply cannot financially afford to move to Israel or travel to Israel before you have a job secured, or if you would not be able to cover your cost of living in Israel on the average salary that you would get paid here, then a great backup option is to find a job in your home country that you can do remotely from anywhere. Then you can come to Israel, work remotely while traveling here. If you want to work remotely while living full-time in Israel, the company you work for might raise certain tax liability concerns, but there are solutions that exist to those problems. So if you'd like a video explaining all of that, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll do a follow-up video. I want to be clear that for the job search methods from this video to work for you, you need to be eligible to work in Israel. That means that you need to either be making Aliyah or eligible to make Aliyah or you need to already have figured out your work visa on your own. I am not familiar with the process it takes to become eligible to work in Israel except as a Jewish immigrant that moves here. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like this one, please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. And you can watch this next video over here, which YouTube thinks you're really going to enjoy. Thank you guys all so much for watching.